Welcome back to Living in Wait. We have dedicated an entire week here on the show, and now we continue our talk on children's mental health awareness. Today, we've invited Tiana Webster on the show, a youth partner also with Epic Ohana, Inc. Thank you so much, Tiana. Appreciate you joining us. Thank you for having me. All right, let's start this conversation with uh, you are a youth partner. How does that relate to the CMHA or the Children's Mental Health Association? Well, Youth Partners are youth peer support through Epic Ohana. We work with youth within the Department of Health and Child Welfare Services. I work specifically with youth on the Big Island, but the Youth Partner Program is a statewide service. As Youth Partners, we use our own lived experiences to support and walk alongside youth currently in care or in mental health services. Um, we really try to model healthy behaviors, advocate for youth voice, and offer support for youth as they achieve their educational or personal goals. And um, similar to what you said, CMHA being children's mental health acceptance, as a group, we focus specifically on mental health acceptance within the youth of Hawaii. Um, being that youth partners get to work one-on-one -on -one with youth and really help uplift their voices, a few of us youth partners actually co-chair this committee. This committee consists of meeting monthly for a few hours with other statewide organizations. In these meetings, we plan a mix of in-person or virtual events throughout the state, and specifically the month of May. There's actually a week dedicated to children's mental health, and that is May 7th through the 11th. And this year's theme is accepting, advocating, and acting when it comes to children's mental health. Um, yeah, and, and uh, we are celebrating all throughout the week. So it started yesterday and yep. we'll continue this week. Um, now, okay, now you just mentioned it, the three A's. What are some of the things that have been done or in the process of doing to accept, advocate, and act? Great. Some things that have already been done for accepting is really being able to meet um, monthly as a group and just knowing that mental health in Hawaii is super important and needs to um, be talked about more often. During these meetings, um, we have key messages, themes, and we look into local data when it comes to the youth of Hawaii. And when it comes to advocating and acting, events that have already taken place is being able to travel all the way to San Diego to be a part of IVAT, also known as the Institute of Violence, Abuse, and Trauma, and present how um, Hawaii is utilizing youth peer support um, and in hopes that it, has, it helps the other states to really take this in for themselves. Um, when it comes to advocating and acting, a few of us were able to like be able to present our own lived experience. Some of us are going to be a part of wellness fairs around the state and um, really being able to talk, like doing this interview and being able to post on our social medias. Well, that's great. I think that's really, really cool. Um, and in fact, along the lines of those three A's, I've heard there's a bill coming into play. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yes, the Malama Ohana Bill, also known as SB 295. Well, it started through Nakama Ahaloa, which is a network group, and it came in response to Isabella Kalua. Um, the conversation they had was really around how they can help child welfare services learn and grow from here on out. The bill is to propose listening and collaborative, collaborative work groups through the new Office of Wellness and Resilience. And it's great because the Office of Wellness and Resilience has been in charge with finding public and private collaborations to help promote wellness and resilience in the state of Hawaii. So if approved, the Office of Wellness and Resilience would hold statewide listening sessions that bring community partners, people with lived experience to um, really sit at these tables and voice their ideas on how to help transform child welfare services. Okay, perfect. Now, if I wanted to get involved or somebody out there that's listening wants to get involved, how do we go about doing that? Well, if you're interested in getting involved, you can call your re representatives and let them know that you are in support of the bill and that the challenges CWS, again, child welfare services is facing, could really use this collaborative approach also, as you're doing this, feel free to mention what you like about the bill, what you don't like about the bill. Like I said earlier, a big part of this is bringing that lived experience and community voice. So feel free to start there, simply going on Google and searching up your island, followed by 
the word legislator and the first website to pop up should really send you to some of your legislators information. Even if you want to look at our Epic Ohana page, it has a whole bunch of updates and information on the bill as well. Tiana, thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate all that information. We'll be continuing uh, our Children's Mental Health Awareness Week here tomorrow, but we appreciate you joining us today. Thank you. All right, much more on Living in a Week when we continue.